Hey guys, thanks for being on the website. Today we're gonna to be talking about Gelay Pro and how it compares to Reflex Pro. So right off the bat, uh, Reflex, as you can see right here, Reflex is designed for the paint. Now the theory behind that is of course you have the substrate, you have primer, you have the base, you have the clear coat, etc. You have multiple layers. Those multiple layers need to expand and contract and we've shot a whole video on how that happens. It's actually like if I had a rubber band right now and I just pulled it thin, the, the paint actually uh, expands and goes sideways. It's a whole other thing. I'll, I'll put a link up. It's, a, it's an amazing uh, sort of behind the scenes. What I mean by that is when you put something on there, you need to be able to have it flexible. So reflex is the combination of the word re, uh, reflective, meaning shiny, and then flexible. So reflex, it, it expands and contracts where it needs to specifically on paint that has multiple layers. Now, when you come to something like wheels, metal, uh, you have your calipers, suspension, exhaust, etc. Uh, trim on boats, the metal, uh, motorhomes, that kind of thing. We wanted to come from a different perspective saying like, hey, we, we can take a little bit of that out and increase the solids to make it even stronger. Why? Because we don't necessarily need a ton of uh, flexibility in that as we do on, let's say, the top of the hood, meaning it gets really hot from underneath and hot from the top. There's a lot going on a thousand times, you know, literally thousands of times over the lifetime of your car. It's going up and down, up and down, up and down. So we came up with Gelay Pro, and that is a little bit less than six times the solid, but we call it five times the solid. And so what that is gonna do is give you, uh, by default, a lot more heat strength, specifically on the rotors and the wheels and the exhaust, that kind of thing. So. We're very excited about that. Let's go into the uh, application process. It is super simple, but there's two specific ways of doing it, how you apply it and how you remove it. Right off the bat, you can do it on the ground just like this if you don't you know, have a lift. In this case, I have a lift, or you can do one wheel at a time. It is ideal to take the wheel off at least once a year to get behind it. It's just easier to access things, but if you have a big hole here, look, I can get my hand kind of through here, then fine, do it that way. There's, there's no uh, expectation there. You can do whatever you're comfortable, but in this case, I'm gonna lift the car up, remove the wheel, Wheel. We're going to clean the wheel off the car and then, of course, clean the suspension and clean the caliper as well. Now, the idea is after you clean everything and everything is fantastic, looks wonderful, you have to dry it properly. That's kind of the big key here that you have to keep in mind because if a little drip of water comes in while you're applying it, it can dilute the product, one, and two, it'll start to cause it to, to react a certain way. If that happens, take your pad away and get a new pad and then you know, obviously blow out and clean up the water. It's not the end of the world. It's just, if you're isolated to one area, just clean that area off and start again. You don't have to do the whole wheel again. Now, with everything clean, uh, the wheels off, the exhaust is clean, uh, and everything is dry, you're going to apply it. Now, the, the method that I was talking about before is two ways. You can apply it, let it sit for 30 to 60 seconds, depends on the humidity in your area, and you take a microfiber towel and you wipe it off, looks good, same kind of concept as reflex. Option number two is a little bit trickier, but you will get uh, a bit more life out of it, and we'll talk about how long that lasts. So in this case, let's pretend we take the wheel off here and we're applying it on the backside. You can apply it in very long strokes and it's as if you were painting the wall. You don't wanna have streaks coming down and not, you know, you didn't actually take the brush and beautifully like apply it in. Same thing here, if you leave streaks in there, it is going to stay. So take your microfiber applicator and just gently flow it out. Now the idea is not to put a lot on there. You wanna put thin layers, but you're not gonna buff it off. That's kind of the trick here. Same thing with the caliper. You wanna get in everything, not a lot. You're not like splashing it on there and just like fire hosing it on. You wanna gently put it on and then let it sit and make sure that you look at it and you'll see it kind of settle down. You're good to go. Now on the front of the rim, you can do two things. You can put it on, buff it off, or put it on gently. And then at the last stroke is kind of the beautiful, again, like you're painting your walls, your last little stroke, just to lay everything out and it'll look good. Give it 30, 60 seconds, make sure everything is good and then it will harden itself. Again, and suspension, you can do the same thing on the exhaust, uh, and of course boats and the, you know, the metal trim around the boats, that's where it really uh, steps up there. Uh, a little bit of housekeeping here, it'll last uh, more than a year, but I like to say a year, why? Because if you're watching this video and you're on my website, you know that if you're not maintaining your wheels at least once a year, uh, and I know people who use ammo are pretty persticky uh, like me, so at, at the minimum I would say once a year, I like to do it before winter, after winter, uh, and then you know if you have some time in the summer and you're hanging out with your buddies or whatever, pop all the wheels off one at a time, leave it on the ground, whatever works for you, and then spend some time to reapply it. Why? You will see after it dries, which takes about six to eight hours, don't get it wet during that time. Uh, when it's dry the next week and you're washing your car and you power wash the wheels down, you'll get 90% of the stuff off, depending on where you are, of course. And you'll just see it bead like crazy and it just flushes off immediately. You'll go like, okay. And if you maintain that all the time, 
I would say secretly, I don't know, probably two years would probably last on there, but like, why would you ever wait to find that out? I, I just constantly maintain it and just keep building up and because over time, those layers are going to go down. It's just how life works. It's like this, your skin. You take a shower, you're losing skin, but you're growing it back. In this case, you're not growing it back. You're just applying it on a regular basis. So every couple of months, six months, a year, I would say reapply it. In the meantime, when you wash your car, you can actually use top coat. That'll put it on there. That'll kind of give it, you know, rejuvenate it, uh, you know, a month or two, that kind of thing as well. So that's the behind the scenes of how Gelee was made, why it's uh, five times the solid, a little bit less than six, but we call it five times the solid. It has a higher heat uh, protection, obviously for wheels. And overall, it's, it's uh, pretty simple to apply. You guys know where to find me, Larry at AmmoNYC.com. As always, thanks for your support. It really means a lot to me and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.